Okay, so I came back from my shopping. It was great. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I actually didn't get too many books. I think I have like five. Yeah, I, I have about five books, so it could be worse. <laughs> but uh, let's get into my haul. So this, again, I'm not going to touch up on anything too much, but I actually thought this book came out on August 6th. So I did do some research, but it actually says August 6th. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just a paperback or something, but it actually came out earlier, so I don't know if this is like kind of like a hard, like an arc copy or something, but that is Amy Guardians of Dawn by S. Jane Jones. Um, this book was supposed to come out on August 6th. It still says on Goodreads that for August 6th for hard covers, so. I hope this is not an only copy of it because one of the author decides to change it and then I already bought it, you know what I mean? So, whatever, that's fine. But um, basically, you will follow Amy who is taking care of a mentally ill father and she also lives like like an anxiety life. However, one day her father uh, stole a branch from a place and because of that, Amy offers herself as a like a debt kind of, you know, so that so just so her father wouldn't have to do it. So it's a beauty in the beauty and the beast we talk. So that's what th this book is about. I'm not gonna touch up too much. I've already talked about it so much. So that's what it is. And I'm actually I'm actually really excited about this book because the cover pages are so pretty. I think this is like my first special edition, if you will that I actually have, I'm not really too keen on like, oh, this is special edition, I must buy, no. Like, if I really, really want a book in special edition, I might consider buying, but otherwise, I'm happy with my regular ones, so. Yeah, but this one is The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song. It's special because, look at this great edges. It's so pretty. And I love it so much. It's black and look at this. Never trust a dragon. This is so stunning. Oh, lovely. I love it when books have like such special care to them, you know. Instead of the garbage, but this is also what it looks like in the front. So I wonder why they sold this like in a bookstore. And they usually special editions are like with Family loot or our crate, whatever. So this is kind of interesting. But so this story is the legend of Milan, like the actual legend, not Disney. 
Um, but the thing about the avalanche is like, we actually don't know if Molon actually existed. So, it's kind of fun to like hear the story, but yeah. So, ways to obey destined to rebel. The three kingdoms are at war, but Melian's father refuses to answer the imperial draft. Trapped by his own peer addiction, he plans to send Melian for her jewelry. But when Melian discovers her husband to be another violent, ill tempered man, she realizes that nothing will change for her unless she takes matters into her own hands. The very next day, she disguises herself as a boy and enlists in her father's place. In the army, Melian's witness hand work brings her recognition, friendship, and a growing closeness with Sky, a prince turned training partner, but has she simply exchanged one person for another? As the kingdom barrels toward destruction, Melian begins to have visions of a sea dragon, spirit who offers a true power and freedom, and a deadly price. So that sounds exciting, the print is so pretty, I love it. But I actually am starting to read this, and this is Medici Height by Caitlin Steinerhan. As you can see from my lovely bookmark, I am not annotating, I just needed a bookmark. So again, we're following a group of people. Her name is Rosa, and she was involved the Medici family. And this is supposed to be like one of the greatest Renaissance robbery of all times. And so basically, this robbery is supposed to save this city. But like, what happens if they suddenly destroy each other? We're gonna find out. So far, it's actually really slow, but we will see. Like, I'm already a third way in, and it's like kind of really slow actually, not much is happening. I'm already in part two of it and honestly I hope it picks up the pace. Like I want the action scenes but the bodies. <laughs> so yeah, we will see eventually. My next book is actually a sequel to Silver in the Book by Alexandra Parkin. I'm actually rereading that book right now and this is The Mirror of Beast by Alexandra Parkin. It's a sequel to the Silver in the stone, so... With the dream of Avalon and ruins, Thompson and her friends are all that stand in the way of Lord Death's plans to unleash the horrors of Unwin on the world of the living. As the wild hunt carves a bloody path across the continents, Thompson and mastering allies, tracking down powerful artifacts, and traversing new other lands in search of a way to stop him. Legend tells of a mirror of beasts, powerful enough to trap even Lord Death into a cursed glass, but the mirror is not all that it seems. Thompson must confront her own darkest secrets if she hopes to wrap, tap the mirror's strength to defeat her enemies. Ancient mythology bleeds into contemporary action and scars of the past are torn, are torn asunder by star-crossed love that refuses to die quiet. And really that's so exciting and I really hope I can finish Silver in the Bone so we will see how that goes. And my last book is Drawn Down in the Moon by PC Cast and Christine Cast. I love the cover. Like look at that color scheme. Oh, it's like, I feel like it's like almost watercolor in a way. And so it looks so stunning. Ah, oh, look at that full moon. It's not a full moon or a new moon, but that is stunning. I love it when books have purple in the uh, inside. Oh, it's my favorite color. In Mystical School, A Mysterious Death, A Magical Romance. Red Nightingale isn't supposed to have any elemental powers. Born of magical impairments, but not under one of the four faded astrological full moons. She is destined for a life as a mundane. Right up until she starts glowing out on her 18th birthday, in a heartbeat, Ren's life is turned upside down, and she's suddenly leaving her home for the mystical academia de la Luna, a secret magical school on a hidden island off the Seattle coast. Lee Young has always known about his future at the academy. He has three goals, pass the trials, impress the moon council, and uphold his family's reputation. But he wasn't expecting to be attending alongside the girl he's been secretly in love with for as long as he can remember. As Ren and Lee are thrown into the academy, academy's rolling trials, they quickly learn that something different and dangerous about the school this year. Ren will have to navigate a web of secrets, prophecies, and murder. And Lee will have to decide what to protect, his family's legacy or the girl he loves. Why well, doesn't that sound cute? And there's like a little synopsis of what's to come. You can pause the video and see Edwina for yourself, so fun stuff. 
So that's a small book haul that I have. Um, I'm pretty excited about these books. I'm interested in Mendeecee Heights still, so hopefully Mendeecee will pick up the pace eventually because it's really slow actually. <laughs> so yeah, but let me know if you have books recently and let me know what they are and please like, comment, subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!